Elevate Your Tailgate, Joe Shasky, Matt Kolsky, Ski Team Reunited, and it feels so good. Baby. How you doing? What's up? You know what's funny about the Ski Team, we, we were talking about doing a little side video project, uh -huh. and we haven't done anything for it. Well, you know what the best part about this is? There's no better time than the present. So let's make a video right now. Let's do it. Let's All make right. some video. We got the flank steak. All right. And I've been told that that is the carne asada cut. Yes, it's excellent. What I did yeah. with the marinade is I Googled carne asada. Oh, okay. okay. Well, and but, then, wait, wait you're, you're burying the lead. Matt Kolsky is not just a great radio host. He's a great gardener. I right? love the garden. And so that's what I'm going to tell you From is. From scratch. After I Googled carne asada, I said, all right, I, I do have one lime, but maybe instead of the second lime, I'll take a lemon from the Meyer lemon right, tree, right. get that juice mixed in here. I don't have jalapenos. I'm not growing any jalapenos currently. I am growing habaneros and this spicy peach pepper. So I just chopped some of those up in place of jalapenos and threw them in here. So we have a slightly adjusted garden infused flank steak and carne asada marinade. So all of the stuff that you use to marinate it came from the garden back here? Pretty much. That is so Most cool. of it, yeah. That is so Cilantro cool. Cilantro I did buy from the store, to be perfectly honest. All right, so last year when we came here and, and I went through the garden and we got distracted, I flamed up the meat and I ruined it. So we're gonna set a timer. Perfect. You can still actually see the damage that was done to the fence. <laughs> we will repair. Uh, we will <laughs> we can repair. rebuild it. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna throw this on here. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my God. All right, Whew, let's close that Ooh. before I eat raw meat off the grill. All right, all right. we and gotta set a timer. We're setting set a, timer a timer right now before anything else happens, I'm before the flames leap up. <laughs> Okay. I brought you some gifts though. First, before we begin, I brought you tongs from Chef's Toys. Brand this new, ready to go. All right, they're good to go. Okay. I bought you a spatula. When Great. you're doing your vegetables, sometimes you maybe put the foil down. Sure. You cut some stuff up. You'll be able to toss them with this. You can use this for burgers. I like this that. This is great. I like and then that. I got you a brand new cutting board. Oh, baby. And non slip from Chef's like Toys. Oh, yeah, it's really Ooh. nice. Look at it. You put it down, doesn't move. But here's the best of the best a brand new chef's oh. knife. All the vegetables, all the meat. For someone who has their own mm. garden, isn't this money? It's chef toys because it's chef quality. We're talking about, this is what actual chefs use, not idiots like you and me. No, 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 no. You can cook restaurant quality stuff using restaurant quality equipment. That's what I'm talking about. And anyone can go in there. And here's the best part about it. They got one in Oakland, Sacramento, yes. San Francisco. It's right off 880 right here. Awesome, Oakland. Yeah. All right, Matt, what? What do you have going on here? This looks like some Kolsky's home concoctions. When you come to the house, you get stuff from the garden. So here's what we got. These are just a few banana peppers oh, yeah. from my banana pepper tree. We'll I just like throw that. those on the grill and okay. blast them at the very end and okay. just eat them. Uh, this is tomatillo salsa verde. Just a little bit of habanero in there. Not super spicy. Totally at worst medium, I would say. We're gonna try a little bit of that. Have it for our steaks if we feel like it. But if you want to get weird and a little dangerous, this is my habanero hot sauce. Vinegar based, very, yeah, very, very yeah. spicy. It's all natural. What do we got? Just a little bit. Now like I recommend me, huh? just all a natural? dot. Well, first off, I gotta go here. Yeah, you gotta try that for sure. Okay. <laughs> That's big tomatillo sauce. That's what I'm talking now, about. Now let's go to this habanero. What do we it's, got? Uh, uh, careful now. It ain't nothing. It's a grower. All right, it's got a little crack. Real quick, Matt. Notice how all the juice is popping up on one side. For most grillers, that's an indication of, hey, it's getting about ready time to flip that bad boy. Once you see the juice start to really pop up onto the top of that steak. All right, banana last peppers. minute or two, we're gonna throw some hot banana peppers on this sucker and just let them grill a little bit, see what happens. Leave it shut for another minute, maybe. Uh, oh, there's the timer. Uh, it happened faster uh, than I thought. Um, by the way, we have this one large tomato. Okay. And these are a uh, uh, yellow green tomato that are I actually- I like green tomatoes. Reason, this is reasonably close to ripe. I'm pulling it a little yeah. early for the effect for the video. So is that what they would consider heirloom? Yes, this is one, uh, this is an heirloom breed. I like breed. normal green tomatoes. I think these are called something like yellow gold or something. They, they get a little, like this yellow part, yeah. that's the ripe part. It's still a little, green like you like over here, but yeah. we're gonna just slice this up and maybe have yeah. some of it with our steak. I like it. We're pulling this sucker off the grill. A little last touch of flame on there. Boom. 
All right, now we do have to let this rest. Yeah, let it sit. We gotta be patient, everybody. So wh what I like to do is I like to let a piece of meat sit and rest. Sometimes five minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Only you can know. While the meat settles. That's when you drink your wine. I think we need to have a little Intercept Wines from Charles Woodson's company. Remember C. Wood, Oakland legend? Do I remember? I live in Oakland, I have to remember Charles Woodson. Come on now. This is a Pinot Noir, Monterey County, absolutely unbelievable, perfect for a little red meat. What do you think? Pour a little glass? I think we should drink it. I do too. Just like a perfect oh, little cut. Oh, look at that. This is why you gotta bring a gardener to a tailgate because they don't just have the meat cooked to perfection. They've got all the stuff that goes with it. Here's a plate for you. Thanks, bud. All right, I'm going right in. All right, here we go. Oh my mm, God. Mm. Oh my God. Mmm, -hmm. bro. The best part of these tailgates is I love seeing how each person kind of puts together their own tailgate party. I came with the chef's toys. I brought him a brand new knife, a new set of tongs because he didn't have them last year. Yes. A beautiful cutting board for all of the different vegetables and things. Things brought, I need. I also brought the flank steak from Harris Ranch Beef. Absolutely delicious. We having a little wine, I'm about to put that down. Kolsky brought a beautiful environment here in the backyard with all of the natural garden stuff and all of the vegetables. It, it honestly, is, is a reflection of the cool person that Matt is. And this is why I love him, because everything he does, he does from scratch. And he's very organic, and that's who he is, and that's a reflection of your tailgate. Thank you, sir. It's a mutual crush. We love each other. What were you saying? I'm eating your chili verde. Yeah, I don't know why I stopped. No, my throat. And mm -mm. while I got food in my mouth, elevate your tailgate. Matt Kolsky, Joe Shasky, downtown Oakland. We love you, baby. Mm-mm.